reason, we are gonna find the simple annuity. Now, definition of terms. Annuity, a sequence of payment made at equal, fixed intervals or a period of time. Ordinary annuity, a type of annuity in which the payments are made at the end of each payment interval. So now let's begin. We are assigned to find the future value f of the following ordinary annuities. Monthly payments of 3,000 pesos for 4 years with an interest rate of 3% compounded monthly. So now, let's find the given. Our capital R is the, or the regular payment is 3,000. And our small r is 3%, or, and we're gonna convert it into decimal, so it is now 0 0.03. Now, let's search for our time, and our time is four years. And our M or the number of conversion periods is monthly so it is equal to 12. And now the N or the number of payments is needed to be answered so there's a formula it is M times t so let's substitute it and it is now 12 times 4 so 12 times 4 is equal to 48 and now the i or the interest rate per period needed to be answered so there's a formula of it so it is r over m and now let's substitute it so it is now 0 0.03 over 12 so 0 0.3 I mean 0 0.03 over 12 is equal to 0 0.0025 so now let's find the future value so here's the equation of the future value f is equal to r times 1 plus i over to raise to the power of n minus 1 over i. So now let's substitute it to our given and it is now f is equal to 3000 times 1 plus 0 0.0025 raised to the power of 48 minus 1 over 0 0.0025. Now using your calculator, the answer is 152,793 point six two five two pesos. Now let's round it up. So it is now 152,793.63. So moving now to number two. Quarterly payment of 5,000 pesos for 10 years with an interest rate of 2% compounded quarterly. So now, let's search for the givens. Our capital R is 5,000. And our small r or the nominal rate is 2% and converted into decimal. So it is now 0 0.02. And our time is 10 years. Our M is equal to 4 since it is compounded quarterly. So, let's search for the N. M times T and now it is now 4 times 10. So, 4 times 10 is equal to 40. And now let's search for the I or the interest rate per period. So there's a 
formula for it so it's r over m and substitute it so it is now 0 0.02 over 4 so the answer for that is 0 0.005 and now let's find the future value so here's the equation of the future value and convert it i mean substitute it to our given so it is now f is equal to 5000 times 1 plus 0 0.005 raised to the power of 40 minus 1 over 0 0.005 so use your calculator to know the answer and the answer for that is 220,794.2365 pesos and now let's try to round it up so it is now 220,794.24 pesos so moving on to problem number three so semi annual payments of 12,500 pesos with interest rate of 10.5% compounded semi annually for six years. So now let's search for our givens. So our capital R or the regular payment is 12,500 and our small r or the nominal rate is 10.5%. So convert it into decimals, it is 0 0.5. 105. So now let's search for our time. So the time is 6 years. Now for our M or the number of conversion periods is semi-annually. So semi-annually is equal to 2. So the search of N. So 2 times 6 is equal to 12. And now let's search for our I or the interest rate per period so follow the formula and substitute it to the given so it is now 0 0.105 over 2 so it is now equal to 0 0.0525 so now let us find the future value so here's the formula if you guys forget how to read that it is read as f is equal to r times 1 plus i raised to the power of 2 minus 1 over i so do not forget that guys because it's very important so now let's substitute it to our given so it is now one 12,500 times 1 plus the value of our i which is 0 0.0525 raised to the power of 12 minus 1 over 0 0.0525 so now use your scientific calculator to solve that problem so it is now 200,101 and 867.5684 pesos so let's let's try to rate round it up so it is now 201 and 867.57 pesos so let's go to number four Annual payments of 105,000 with interest rate of 12% compounded annually for 5 years. So now let's search for our given. Our capital R is 105,000 pesos. And now for our small r, it is 12% and converted into decimal, so it is now 0 0.12 so let's search for our time time is five years so our m or the number of conversion periods is annually so it is equal to one and now the n let's search the n so it is now one times five is equal to five and now the search of 
i which is 0 0.12 over 1 so it is equal to 0 0.12 and now let's find the future value so copy the formula of the future value and substitute it so it is now 105 times 1 I mean 105,000 times 1 plus 0 0.12 oh, raised to the power of 5 minus 1 over 0 0.12 so using the calculator so it is now the answer is 667,048.9728 pesos and so for our last problem 5 daily payments of 20 pesos for 30 days with interest rate of 20% compounded daily for one month so now let's search for our given 20 pesos is our I mean the R or the regular payment is 20 pesos and for our small r or the nominal rate is 20% so convert it into decimal so it is now 0 0.2 and for our time it's 30 days so put that 30 days and now for our m or the number of conversion periods is daily so how many days are in a year? So it's 365, not including the leap year. So for our n, follow the formula 365 times 30, so it is 100, I mean 10,950. And now for our i, since we can, I mean, we should follow the formula and now it is 0 0.2 over 365 and when you are shocked like what there's no answer there is an answer but it is so very long so let's just use the formula of i to find our future value so now let's find the future value copy the formula of the future value and substitute it to our given so it is now 20 times 1 plus 0 0.2 over 365 to the power of 365 times 30 over 365 minus 1 over 0 0.2 over 365 so it is the answer is 604.79